السلام عليكم جميعا our presentation today is going to be about CLAPC rate reduction strategy or what we call it CRRS and the go green anyone knows what go green and or anyone saw the symbol or icon before if you don't mind just participate in the chat and why we are highlighting this 0.9 our today's agenda is going to be an introduction and most of the information already uh, mentioned by the previous uh, speakers. We will talk about the epidemiology of CLAPSI, magnitude of the problem, impact of uh, CLAPSI event, gap analysis or fishbone of the strategy, the rate, different zones, vision, mission, and aim of the CRR, uh, CRRS strategy, objectives and strategic goal, methodology and workflow, and we will end by a summary. An introduction, central line associated bloodstream infection or CLAPC results in thousands of deaths each year and billions of dollars. And of course, most importantly, the patient safety, uh, it will affect the patient mortality and morbidity. Yet these infections are preventable. عدو الدم المرتبطة بالقسطرة الوريدية المركزية تؤثر على النفقات في القطاع الصحي ولكن الأهم هو تأثيرها على مدى أو مدة تنويم المرضى أو بقائهم في المنشآت الصحية ولا قدر الله قد تؤدي إلى الوفاة لكن من الواجب التنويه أنه معظم هذه العدوات هي يمكن الوقاية منها What is central line associated bloodstream infection or CLAPSI? As Dr. or Prof. Ayman mentioned, it's a laboratory confirmed bloodstream infection that is not secondary to in, an infection at another body site with eligible central line. Uh, and the central line should be in place more than two consecutive calendar days. In epidemiology, an estimated 250,000 bloodstream infections occur annually, and most are related to the presence of intravascular device. In U.S. CLAPSI rate, uh, in adult ICU estimated to, to be 0.9 per thousand central line days. So this is the international benchmark. But the magnitude of the problem nationally here in Saudi Arabia estimated uh, to be higher than NHSN rate because our CLAPSI rate or current CLAPSI rate is 2.5 per thousand central line days. Many efforts had been directed to lower the rate previously, and even a zero CLAPSI initiative was conducted uh, in 19 hospital in 2019. We found that a lot of challenges to reach zero CLAPSI or even closer are varied and many. However, also the impact of uh, the CLAPSI will increase the, mor the morbidity and uh, the length of stay up to 20 days it will also increase the mortality up to 25% and it will increase the cost up to $45,000. So the problem of high CLAPSI rate in MOH hospital must be tackled and the GDIPC feel the needs and the courage to conduct a unified strategic plan. Extensive review and literature review with fishbone analysis of the causes of CLAPS rate uh, was done, and we found that a lot of causes can lead to CLAPS. Initially, uh, there is defects in the program itself, like lack of education and training, data entry in the electronic system, lack of competency-based training. We found also that there is deficiencies in a people uh, or staff to patient ratio. Uh, the staff to patient ratio uh, in some hospital were high, up to one to three or more. There is no well-trained staff on, of inserting and maintaining central line, frequent changing of staff. In the process and procedure, we found that some hospitals or some physician will choose femoral site instead of the subclavian, and this is the favorable site uh, in infection uh, control perspective, delay in getting culture and sensitivity results and all lab problem. There is no organized surveillance process. Regarding policy, some hospital have uh, not updated their policy up to the latest guidelines and recommendation, use 
of unstandardized form uh, that is approved from MOH, use of non-approved disinfectant uh, in the product and supply. And I know this is a very huge problem in most of the hospitals is complaining of this part. It's unavailability of central line related supplies, no system to check the culture result online, or there is no alignment or connection between the patient file and the uh, microbiology uh, lab result. Use of uh, povidone iodine instead of chlorhexidine, and this is, of course, the recommended. And all of this will lead to increase in the CLAPSI rate. So, GTIPC came with a very ambitious strategy with the vi vision to decrease the CLAPSI rate in all MOH adult medical surgical ICU up to zero by implementing an evidence based intervention to reduce the current national CLAPSI rate with the very specific measurable objective to reduce the current national rate from 2.5 uh, per thousand central line days up to 0.9. So the 0.9 in the go green is referring to this target. We are aiming to reach a 0.9 per thousand central line days in all MOH hospitals with adult medical surgical ICU started from 2020 until 2024. So our strategy is going to be conducted over three, three years, inshallah. Then we divided the rates into different zone and we will divide the, or we divided the level of intervention based on these, on these zones. We have green zone, yellow zone, red zone, and black zone. Our intervention toward it is going to be different. Intervention level is going to be on a, um, three levels, MOH level, regional and cluster level, and hospital level. All the, the details of the strategy and the level of intervention and all the component is really in detail in the GDIPC website. So I advise all of you just to visit the GDIPC uh, .sa website and click on the CRRS strategy, and you will find introduction and, and the detail about the vision, vision, mission, and aim, and all the components with the toolkit. Component of our strategy is 11 components. حرصنا إنه تتكون الاستراتيجية من عدة مكونات. First one is a leadership or دور الدعم الإداري والقيادات. Availability of uh, related supply or the مستلزمات الخاصة بتركيب وصيانة القسطرة الوريدية المركزية infrastructure خاصة البنية التحتية related to central line like availability of clean and dirty utility availability of hand hygiene sink IV rooms and etc uh, HR or human resources توفير القوة العاملة لدعم الطاقم الصحي في العينات المركزة Training and education وأعتقد أنه اليوم أحد أكبر الأمثلة على ال need of training and education and specific training toward the strategy best practices and guidelines نشر الأدلة العلمية والتوصيات الخاصة بتركيب وصيانة القسطرة الوريدية outbreak related events surveillance program أو تطوير آلية الترصد الوبائي حصن plus أو نظام الترصد الإلكتروني Go Green Initiative أو مبادرة منافسة اذهب إلى الأخضر وطبعا المونترينج أو and evaluation وآلية التقييم والمتابعة على كافة المستويات Our most effective we think this is the most effective achievement in the strategy is a uh, the formulation of uh, a CLAPSI subcommittee or the Legion of Farriya or the Legion of Farriya, the special Legion of Farriya in the Guidelines of Central Line Insertion and Maintenance, the Nashrat Dalil Al Ilmi, the special Turkey of the Legion of Farriya in the Legion of CLAPSI Prevention Toolkit or the Hakiba. حقيبة الحقيبة التدريبية اللي تحتوي على كافة الفورمات أو النماذج الخاصة بتفعيل الاستراتيجية وتتكون من ثماني فورمات. This is very very important forms and should be activated 
in the uh, hospitals uh, included in the CRRS, and and um, it is um, highly effective by evidence based. The first form is authorized supervisor letter, and this is mainly to empower healthcare workers, especially nurses, to stop any breach and uh, infection control during central line insertion or maintenance, list of eligible ICU physicians to insert central line, competency assessment tool for physician to insert central line, competency assessment tool for nurses uh, to maintain a central line, and two audit form. This, these two forms will be used by infection control to audit the process. Inventory checklist for supplies. We already created um, a checklist that includes the possible needed supplies during insertion and maintenance of central lines with code and there is an inventory checklist just to check the availability of these supplies and a roadmap assessment tool this is actually used initially as a baseline to assess all the hospitals in the strategy by uh, the regional surveillance coordinator and i advise uh, every uh, hospital member or surveillance coordinator member in the hospital just to review the roadmap assessment tool and to check the component and the availability uh, or implementation of these recommendations in their hospitals. Um, one uh, great achievement of this strategy, and uh, we think and this is a very important uh, component, is the training and education. And we divide the training and education into three. Uh, types hands on uh, training till now we cover nine regions on site and more than 450 healthcare workers were covered and inshallah we will continue after uh, eid online training and all the regions were covered and around 400 healthcare workers attended there is also a specialized training like today training uh, toward the uh, strategy but, the um, the next component or the next important component here in the strategy is go green competition initiative aw munafasat idhab ila al akhdar and it's composed uh, or includes uh, hospitals from moh and private hospitals and uh, this initiative uh, intended to make like a and this competition is uh, intended to create like a, a competition uh, toward reaching uh, the goal. And this strategy is really important because it's aligned with the two strategic goal in our 2030 uh, vision. The first one is promote prevention of uh, health risk. Another one is improving the quality and efficiency of uh, services. Okay. This is um, this was an, an overview of the uh, strategy and what do we mean by CRRS and Go Green? And I think I just want to ask you some um, some questions, if possible. Okay, and please just answer in the chat. What is the exact aim or uh, aimed rate of CLAPSI? كمل ال الريت ال المأمول إنه إحنا نوصله في ال في الكلابسي rate reduction strategy. Yes, excellent. Point nine. Okay. Great. And okay. For how long CRRS will continue? Can we the strategy? Yes. Three years. Excellent. How many forms in the CLAPSI prevention toolkit? Can we the format or the methods that are used in the in the The excellent, and I hope that all of you get an overview about the uh, strategy and what do we mean by uh, go green inshallah naamal lakum muhadarat mufida fi qadim al ayam thank you for your uh, attendance and participation and this is the official email of uh, the strategy if you have any inquiry you couldn't find it in the website and this is a barcode for uh, GDIPC website you will find all uh, what you need and all the forms there uh, just uh, contact us uh, through this um, email.